Hey there, farm and garden friends. It's the last week of July, and today we're gonna to talk about why now is not the time to stop planting. Well, here we are back on our morning walk and talk in the back 40. I am really starting to enjoy these, and I hope you are too. It is a beautiful day here in Michigan. All right. So it's that time of year where you're starting to see all your hard work come to fruition, starting to harvest every week, starting to eat your fresh veggies, sell them if that's what you're doing, and you're busy, busy, busy. Now hopefully you've implemented the 30% rule and you've got a plan B, and you're doing everything to avoid burnout. But along with harvesting every week, you should also be thinking about planting every week for a little bit yet. Um, now that you're opening up some bed space, hopefully, because you're taking those veggies out, you've still got time to replant. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about six veggies that you can still plant, and I'm most definitely still gonna plant here in the next week or two. Lucky for me, there's six of my favorite veggies to grow. And the cool thing is that you do still have time because all of these will be ready to harvest in the next 30 to 60 days. So no reason to stop planting yet. You can definitely get a good second round and good fall harvest yet. <laughs> so don't put those beds to rest quite yet once the crop that's in there now is finished out. So the first one I would plant in the next week or two would be green beans. You can still get green beans in and they will be ready to harvest in 45 to 60 days. So myself, I'm definitely gonna do another round of green beans. So the second one I'm gonna do is probably my favorite and that's my lettuce, my salad mix. We still have time to get another round started in the cells here in the next week or two and be able to harvest them out yet this year and probably get two cuttings off it yet. So lettuce is number two. My third one, can't have my salad mix without it, is spinach. That's a fast grower. That'll be done right alongside your lettuce maybe a little quicker even for some baby spinach. So spinach can go in in the next week or two as well, no problem, and have plenty of time. The fourth one I would do, probably this week, this week or next, and I'm going to do, is some more carrots. Another round of carrots. There's still enough time to get them in before the snow flies. And the cool thing about carrots is if you do get a little bit of frost, it'll sweeten them up. So I love having carrots into the winter, so I'm definitely gonna plant some now. Here we are, back at our halfway point. Half mile down. Now I know it can be real easy going into August. Of course, that's that time where we could get overwhelmed and burn out and it's real easy to not even think or want to plant for the fall. But now is not the time to stop. It's definitely a time to keep pushing, keep planting. So number five, the fifth crop I'm gonna plant is radishes, of course, right? We may even be able to get two rounds of those in. Those buggers grow so fast, they'll be done in 27 days. So radishes are going in the ground. That is a big coyote track.
real big. They're pretty thick around here. Can you guys guess what the sixth crop is that I'm gonna plant? All right, and the sixth crop I'm gonna grow is green onions, my bunching onions. There's still enough time to get those planted and get them harvested before the end of the year. However, the cool thing about green onions are they're a biannual. So that means if you leave them and let them winter, next year you can get seeds off them. So I will have a video coming out on that sometime in the near future because that's exactly what we did last year. And I got a ton of green onion seeds this year. But I just like harvesting green onions. They're quick, they're fast. They're always good to have around. So that is number six. So just to recap, now is not the time to stop planting. In fact, it's time to keep pushing. Plant out some green beans, some lettuce, some spinach, some carrots, some radishes, and some green onions and you'll have a great fall harvest. I hope you're enjoying this walk and talk series on the back 40, and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah!